Okay, so I did a thing. Um, let's go check out this thing I did. Eeks! Hey everybody, it's Suzy Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Suzy Q. Hey. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Suzy and I bought some fish. But that's not it. I want to do a little bit of an update. I have my Oscar that I had to take out of my 120. I'm treating him and one of these fish I got were sick and I bought them anyway. So let's take a look at the fish that I got and my Oscar. Now the first fish that I got, these guys are silver dollars. Not my normal choice that I would get, but I thought it would look great in this 120 gallon tank with my Misfits. And if you don't know what tank I'm talking about with my Misfits, I'm going to put a link up here so you can, you can check out my Misfit tank. And without the Oscar in there, there's plenty of room for a few silver dollar of course once they're a little bit bigger so I thought that was a great idea I get an idea I act on it I go to the store right that's all I want is the silver dollars and I had to get some medicine I think I was out of the I was out of general cure so I had to get general cure the guy said he couldn't sell them couldn't sell me the couldn't sell me the silver dollars because they had egg. And I said, you sure? Because I'm okay with it. I mean, I'll take my chances. I can treat them. They're going in a quarantine tank. Let me check my with my manager, he says. He says, let me check with my manager. So while I'm waiting, I'm looking around. And of course, I find some fish that I found very interesting. And today, I got some fish from the store. But these fish were sick. And I'm taking my chances because they have ick. So I'm going to acclimate them to this water, but I ha already have ick x in there. I'm actually also treating my Oscar because he's got a few uh, scales missing. And I think it was from that one, I want to say maybe it's like a Severum. It's uh, in the hero family. Yet to be identified, but some experts have given me some pretty close uh, responses. And before these fish go in there, with the fish medication... I'm gonna get rid of these air bubbles. I'm gonna keep it a bare bottom tank. So I'm right now I'm acclimating to the temperature. This tank is has the actual trio of medicine that I picked up from Corey at Aquarium Co-op. That's why it's a little discolored. That's the ICX part. Erythromycin and general cure. These guys are gonna acclimate and they're gonna go in this tank. But let me get down here and talk to you guys for a sec. These aren't the only fish I got. So let's take a look at what I got. Oh, I got some plants for another tank. Some dwarf sag. Look at the size of these dwarf sag. I've never seen them that long, but I think I got your thermicin. I might put out the powder came up and I went and these don't look like it but they are red and blue tetras oops these are let's see here these are red and blue tetras that are absolutely not colored up but they will be quarantining in this 20 gallon long and hopefully they won't be too fast for me to catch when I'm done. <laughs> so they're going to be in there. What else did I get? Dwarf rainbows. Dwarf rainbows. They're going to go in this 10-gallon quarantine tank. And I got one more. I saw one of Bob Steenfotz's favorite. I think it was Oddfish. And I'll put a link up there because he's like one of my favorite YouTubers. And... He mentioned how much he loves Pandagara. I've never owned a Pandagara. So when I went to the store to get these silver dollars, they had Pandagaras right there for $2. I think it was $2.50. It was either that or $3.50. 
So I got some pandagars and they'll be quarantining as well. I'm so excited. You might wonder how I have so many quarantine tanks set up and ready to go. That's in another video, but that's that's one for story time because it's a big story on that one. But I am in a position and I have a lot of medical stuff going on now. I, I don't have medical stuff going on. My fish does do. My Oscar, let's see if we can see him pouting over here. He's not happy in a 55 gallon tank. Do you see his side? That Raphael, uh, the hero, and it was nipping at him. So I could have taken the hero out, but I wanted to treat him. And I wasn't going to treat him in the 120 gallon aquarium. So I brought him down in this 55 gallon aquarium where he is getting antibiotics and extra slime coat. He's just mad that he's in here, this tank alone. I think, I think he just likes to pout. Oh, it looks twice as bad because of the corner. It's really not that bad, the corner splitting it. Oh my, oh my goodness. Come on over here so they can see you. There you go. And you see there's about 10, 15 scales missing on that side too. So I really wanted Oscar to get a little extra, um, extra tender loving care, stress coat, antibiotics, you know. Um, and is he getting kicked out of his, his home? Uh, probably not, but I definitely want to medicate him in a smaller tank. And although I could have put him in a 40 gallon, I, he, he's not going to be happy in a 40 gallon. He needs some space. He needs some space to pout. <laughs> I feel like that was a lot of fish. I don't know what possessed me. I was only going out to get a half dozen or a dozen silver dollars. That's it. For the 120. And they weren't going to sell them to me because of ick. I'm like, you know, I got ick X. Pretty sure I can take care of the ick problem. How about you just let me have them? Because I don't want to go back to the store. I was afraid I was going to buy stuff. And they had to go check with their manager. So in the interim, I was looking around. I saw the pandagaras. I'm like, oh my gosh. I think I'm going to get the pandagaras. And hence it started. This might be the last time I go out and get fish for a while. Because, oh well. I did it. It's done. Now it's time for quarantine. So let's check out the other quarantine tanks too. Okay, so here we go. These are the silver dollars. They are temperature acclimated. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I have a net, I have a bucket. Let's see. Now that they're temperature acclimated, I'm going to plop and drop. I don't know if it's the same as plop and drop as people who don't temperature acclimate, but that is what I'm going to do. These guys did not travel far and wide. They just came from the store down the street. Got to make sure, I always got to make sure you got them all, you know, right? Okay. These little tiny baby silver dollars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven silver dollars. As you can see they're very, very small, which is fine. Trust me, they will grow big and they will be ready for that 120 gallon in no time. But first they gotta make it through quarantine Here's the red and blue, uh, they call, they're coloring up a lot and they're still in the bag. Oh, I can't wait to let them out. Um, yeah, they're pretty close to the same temperature. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer. These gorgeous Colombian Tetras. Oh, they look good, don't they? Oh, 
though they were already starting to color up. I love it. And these guys are going to go in with my angelfish. Where's the other one? This one is the dwarf rainbow. We're going to wait. That's going to be quarantining in that tank. See Let's what see else if we, we can got. see these. There's the Pandagar. Here is a 20 gallon long that they will be quarantining in. There he is. So thanks for coming out and checking out my update in my fish room, especially how the progress of Oscar is doing. And I can't wait to show you an update on the Sliver Dollars. Not looking so good this morning because they're not eating, but I'm not giving up. I'm going to keep treating them like I did my electric blue jack Dempsey's and they made it through it just fine. So wish me luck. Thanks guys and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Hey everybody is Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey everybody is Susie Q. So come along with me. Set off Susie Q.